When the full moon is shining and the wolves are howling, it's time for Halloween's spooky spectacle. The snickering grins of jack-o'-lantern glow from lit porches. Kids skip down the block in spooky costumes, carrying bags full of candy and shouting, Trick or treat! The nightmare before Christmas is almost here. Do you see dead people? Alright, enough of that. In this spectacular video, I'm going to create an Arduino-based 3D printed Halloween decor. It's super easy, fun and spooky. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay specializes in manufacturing of very high quality, low volume colored PCBs at a very budgetary price. In addition to standard PCBs, you can also order advanced PCBs, aluminium PCBs, rigid flex PCBs. They also provide PCB assembly and other related services which can meet your need to the greatest extent. 3D printing is a highly addictive hobby. This is the very first time I'm using my 3D printer to print something electronics related. The STL files used in this project are all downloaded from Thingiverse.com. I have uploaded a copy of all the 3D objects to my GitHub repository. The link is in the description below. 3D printing has changed my life. There are so many things you can do using 3D printer. From designing 3D models to printing them using the 3D printer has now become my new hobby. I have been a maker since I was 10 years old and have always constructed and made my own stuff. 3D printing for me is a blessing. I'm totally lost in the 3D printing heaven. 3D printing has changed my electronics workshop life forever. Before when I used to order parts, I always used to wonder if this part would fit in my project resource. But after I got my 3D printer, it doesn't matter at all. Because if it doesn't fit, I could design and print it myself. The 3D printer was definitely the missing piece from my electronics workshop. Now that we have all our 3D models printed, let's have a look at the component assembly. The assembly is super simple. We just need to connect 4 yellow LEDs to D2, D3, D4 and D5 pin of Arduino via 220 ohm current limiting resistor. Then connect the white LED to the analog pin D10 of Arduino via a current limiting resistor. That's it. As simple as that. Now let's have a look at the code that will drive the LEDs. Let's start by defining all the variables. Then in the setup section, let's define all the pin modes. To flash the LEDs, I chose 5 different flashing patterns. All LEDs flash very fast for 10 seconds. All LEDs flash slowly for 10 seconds. LED chaser circuit for 10 seconds. 2 LEDs turn on and 2 LEDs stay off for 10 seconds. 1 LED randomly turns on for 10 seconds. The switch statement in the loop section randomly picks one of these patterns and runs it for 10 seconds. The white LED also fades in and out after every cycle. At the bottom of the code, I have defined all these 5 LED flashing patterns in their respective functions. After loading the code on an Arduino Nano, this is how it looks like. The white LED will go inside the ghost and the yellow LEDs will go inside the pumpkins. 
That looks promising, isn't it? Let's start by soldering the wires to the LEDs. Then let's solder the Arduino Nano to a perf board and then solder all the resistors to the board. Next, let's solder the LED to the D2, D3, D4, D5 and D10 pin of the Arduino via the current limiting resistors. That's all you have to do for the electronics bit. Now let's hot glue the perf board inside the coffin followed by all the LEDs to the wooden block. Before putting the 3D printed components on the LEDs, let's do a quick test to verify everything works as expected. Look at that! Now one by one let's hot glue the 3D printed components to the plank. To finalize the setup, I added few dry grass leaves to hide the wirings. That's it, all done. So this is how my final setup looks like. Do comment and let me know if there are any scopes of improvement. Until then, happy Halloween. Thanks again for watching this video. I hope it helps you. If you want to support me, you can subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos. Thanks. See you again in my next video. Bye now.